Well, folks, I would just want to take a few minutes and pass along a quick note. I know you want me to shut up and show fish. But um, I just wanted to mention that this video right here, um, I just realized this can be a 150th video for the YouTube channel. So I just wanted to just take a moment and thank everybody that watches this, subscribes to it. Please subscribe to it if you don't. Um, we're always trying to grow the channels because the bigger the channel is, the more we, more stuff, easier it is for us to bring stuff to you. But I just wanted to take a minute and say, yeah, this brown trout fishing video you're about to watch um, is number 150 for the YouTube channel. And once again, thank you everybody for watching the video, supporting the channel, supporting the guide service, supporting us, stopping and say hello. It all means a lot to the entire team. Um, yeah, thank you, and let's go fishing. Man, we're gonna need a fly. We're fishing. No, nothing in here. Nothing but tippet and leaders. Uh, I don't know. Use stuff, mix up everything. Uh, just one box with me. A uh, bunch of junk. Crap. Egg flies. I think I gotta tie some flies. Well, I need something to fish with. I better tie something up. All right, looks like we better tie some flies if I want to go fishing. Heard a rumor that brown trout like yellow stuff. Well, we're gonna just bang out a yellow zonker here. We'll keep it simple. There we go. Now, let's take it out on the water and see if they'll eat it. There, we got a few flies tied up. Hopefully that'll keep me going for a few minutes. You can never have enough flies. Well, folks, back on the creeks. Uh, been off them for a while for a various variety of reasons but anyways I'm gonna swing some flies see if I can't find a winter brown trout and I apologize once again I'm videoing on my own I need an intern if anybody wants to be or knows of anybody locally that's an intern wants to do some intern work let me know but anyways we're gonna swing some flies we're gonna see if we can't get a couple to chase a few zonkers the water has been high it's come down we're in a nice fishing swinging level right now I just want to see if I can find a brown trout or two to that'll eat on the swing it's been a little while since I've had a chance to run a rod so I'm gonna run a rod and see if I can catch a fish Maybe he wants some eggs for lunch. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna feed him a yellow zonker, aka a banana. You know what they say about fishing and bananas? What's that? 
Bad luck. Oh, the bad luck thing right here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, bananas and fishing. Not supposed to be good. This is good. It's gonna be cold. But anyways, here we go. I guess brown trout do like bananas. Somebody did tell me that, yep, the browns do like to eat yellow stuff. They do. And that one ate the banana. Maybe bananas are not maybe bananas are not such bad luck after all. Cool. One last look. Man, these things are pretty even this time of the year. We're in winter brown trout fishing and post spawn and these things are just sharp looking critters. Alright, sweetie, see you later. cold. Well, got one.
Oh, the fly fell out. Nice winter brown trout. And the old yellow zonker, I've been calling the banana. Yep, banana's not all bad luck. Anyways, held her out of the water long enough. Let's get her on her way. Hey, girl. Or boy. Man, that water's cold. Whew. Cold water. Hmm. Looks a little wet and chewed. Not a bad thing. At least a couple of them like it. Good enough, off to another spot. Cover some more water. See what else we can scrape up. I'm gonna make a little change from the yellow zonker. Kinda looks like a wet banana, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I think the water's getting kinda clear, so we may have to make an adjustment in our fly. Well, we all know what this is. Good old standard for me this time of year for winter browns. The water's getting kinda clear, so I'm wondering if the white might be a better choice because it's been clearing up after some high water. And we'll give it a shot. I wonder if that yellow I was using was just a little too bright or colorish to them. Besides, it's, these fish right now are eating a lot of creek chubs and they are a light colored prey source. So we'll try to do a, maybe a little bit more of a match to hatch, whatever, but we'll give it a try. Um, right now, this, even though the sun has come out, the air temperature is dropping rapidly. Start out the day, no ice in the guides. I got ice in the guides right now, so we're all of a sudden getting some icing up. So we're having a really sharp temperature drop. In these small creeks, my fingers even get cold. In these small creeks, very the temperature drops can be very quick and sudden, and that can really get the fish kind of, what I call a thermal shock, kind of shut them down. I'm gonna run this through really quick, and we'll see what happens. There we go. Good. I think it came back. old white zonker. Beautiful winter steelhead. See ya buddy. And 
the way it goes. Oh, that water's cold. Fingers are still cold. I'll excuse the looking over my glasses bit. Glasses still fogged up. But I got myself relatively put back together after that beautiful steel hood. But went through the yellow zonker. This is what it took the white zonker. In this creek, I do a fair amount of steelhead swinging during the winter on these zonkers and other stuff. But sometimes you just got to change up. Like the last spot we did, got two fish on that yellow zonker, aka the banana. And here, yeah, my fog's starting to clear. And here it went through a couple of times, nothing. I got a bump swinging this zonker. And then a few casts later, I picked up this wonderful steelhead. Now, I don't know if that bump was from a brown trout or another fish, or if the fish that bumped me the first time came back and ate that zonker a second time, but it was the same fish that bumped me. Don't know, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish this run out here one more time and just see if something else will grab, and give it another fair shake, and, and then we'll decide if we're gonna... All right, made a couple of passes through this pool. I uh, think that's all we're going to get is that one fish, that beautiful steelhead. So, I think we're going to call that a day. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, as always, please hit that subscribe button and that bell icon because we got a lot more content coming up. We're going to be doing some fly tying and everything else. And also, once again, thanks for everybody's support. Um, this is the 150th video for the YouTube channel. So it's pretty cool um, I that everybody's been enjoying it and going on and of course the old white zonker on my favorite creek produced us another fish along with those two yellow um, zonkers too that we got those beautiful brown trout on. Um, not too surprised. Um, browns do like yellow. As much as I joke about them being the banana fly, browns have an affinity for yellow um, where the steelhead don't seem to so picking up that steelhead on this white one doesn't surprise me too much and besides the water's been clearing up all day long and when I was fishing the yellow pool it was really overcast and that yellow probably stood out a little bit better where now I got light on the water the clouds have cleared and the uh, white might have been a little bit better choice because that yellow might have been too bright for them but anyways thanks for watching hope you found it interesting and entertaining and see you in the river folks good fishing to you this is Jay at JPEC Guides and Lost River Fishing. We are a year-round fly fishing catch and release guide service. We fish the Lake Ontario tributaries and then during the spring and the summer we also fish the inland trout streams, classic dry fly fishing. During the heat of the summer we will do the warm water fishing for bass and pike. If you are interested in any of our outings or have any questions please feel free to email us at fish at lostriversfishing.com. Hope to hear from you, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.